All right, the Mandrels came in. They came in pretty quick, actually. Eastwood got them to me pretty quick. Actually, I ordered three of them just in case that situation ever happened again. I'd have backup. And um, to be honest, uh, believe it or not, I'm done with these. Um, as far as I want to go for these on the uh, 5.3 and the Daily Driver C10. Um, let's see, on the exhaust port, there's a shot of them. Like I said in my previous videos, I did rush this one, this pair of heads. And on the next set I'm going to do, which come off that 5.3 for the 6.0, I'm going to uh, take a little bit more time with them. On this exhaust port, I'll actually come to a, a finer polish. By then, hopefully, I'll have some uh, uh, finer grit Tootsie Rolls in. But for this truck, this will be fine. I'll also probably open up the uh, port a little bit larger, too, for the 6.0. But this right here is going to be a great improvement over what's on it already. The flow will be greatly improved. Uh, this set of heads will not be flow tested. They're going to go on straight onto the engine. Uh, I will probably have dyno results to show the improvement. Uh, the next set of heads, I might possibly flow test them. Uh, the first set I did flow test that I did uh, previously before these in my first video and you got those results there so I expect the same from these because I'm doing pretty much the same thing alright the exhaust port see how it looks not bad Let's see if I can get a better angle on it there you go it's nice smooth blended the transition on the seat there you see that nice smooth transition no lip all the way around everything's smooth all right, and on the uh, intake port, could be prettier, but this is definitely going to work for what I'm doing. Let's see if I can get an angle on it. Well, can't get the camera to focus very well right now. But, a great improvement. Now, on the, what you'll be surprised is on the combustion chamber, actually. I left it with that rough cut, pretty much, uh, with the 80 grit, just buff on it. If I can get this light. It's hard to show it with the light, with the reflection of the aluminum after you've sanded on it. But all I did was hit it up, uh, just touch it real lightly with the 80 grit Tootsie Roll. If I can get this to focus in. With the 80 grit Tootsie Roll, just to uh, knock off some of the casting in the in the uh, combustion chamber. My idea here is I'm trying to remove as little as possible because I want my compression. Uh, so I just hit up just the easy areas to get to. When you start trying to dig down in here in the corners, you wind up eating away more meat off the side and off the the roof there, and uh, that's going to lower my compression. I'm trying to keep my compression high on this engine. I'm going to mill it down 30 thousandths. I'm trying to reach 10 to 1 without having to change my push rod length. You start milling it down too much you're going to have to change the length of your push rod. So all I did was just go through there and touch it up real lightly to remove some of that cast. And that will be an improvement over what it was. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it's effective. So there it is, guys. That's it from uh, start to end on these set of heads. If you have any questions, let me know. Send me a, a question below the video here. Maybe I could try to get uh, more videos of something that may not be clear or some questions that you have. All right, let me know.